Namaste wild heart yogis. Welcome to your 20 minute mindful morning stretch. I'm Ashley with Yoga by Ashley and I'm gonna be guiding you through this mindful movement this morning. So go ahead and find your seat, close your eyes, draw the spine nice and tall, roll the shoulders up to the ears and down the back a few times, just getting out any of the kinks and the cobwebs. Go ahead. And then just take a deep breath in through the nose, finding that belly breath expanding, and then hold the breath at the third eye center. Big clearing sigh out. One more time, deep breath in, filling up, stretching the body from the inside out. Exhale, let it go. Good, just starting with one ohm today, setting the space. Take a deep breath in. open. Let's start in child's pose today. So heels together, knees out wide. Sit the seat back on the heels. Crawl the hands out long in front of you. Rest the third eye down to the mat. Crawl the hands a little bit further. Sit the seat a little bit deeper. And just begin to arrive. Softening into this pose. Just surrendering yourself, surrendering your, surrendering your body to the earth below you. It's a very grounding pose, connecting yourself with the earth, with your life source. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. On the next inhale, crawl the hands off to the left side of your mat, reaching through the right fingertips, grounding down through the right sit bones, finding length all the way through this right side of the body. Crawl the hands a little bit further. Sit the seat a little bit deeper. So really find that half moon shape in the upper body. Yeah. One more inhale. Exhale, crawl the hands back through center and off to the opposite side of your mat, reaching through the left fingertips, grounding through the left sit bones. Find length all the way through that left side of the body and then sit the seat a little bit deeper. Good. Crawl the hands a little further. Surrender into the pose. Big breath in, filling up, expanding the left rib cage. Exhale. Good. Crawl the hands back through center. And then just prop yourself up on your elbows. Hover the hands to prayer overhead. Maybe crawl the elbows a little bit further away from you. And then rest the third eye down to the mat. So your elbows are going to traction back on your mat as you start to sit your seat back towards your heels. This is a great opener for the triceps and the shoulders. So if you work out, you work your triceps, you work your shoulders, this is amazing. It's going to be really hard for some of my guys. My male yogis tend to be a little bit tighter in the shoulders, right? Women tend to be tighter in the hips. Men, more so the shoulders, right? All right, release the hands out in front of you. And just slide all the way forward onto your belly. Setting up for a sphinx pose, shoulders stacked over the elbows, and then the hands directly out from the elbows. Grip the mat with the fingertips. So like you're gonna pick up like a feather off the, your mat, or like a Kleenex. You wanna find that engagement and like really grip the mat with the fingertips. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears, and think about shining the heart forward between the shoulders. It's a good release for the lumbar spine, the lower back, and a good release for the shoulders. Gaze over the right shoulder. Try to see the right foot with the right eyeball. Good. Gaze over the left shoulder. Chin is parallel to the mat. Gaze right. Gaze left. Good. Release the chest down to the mat. 
bring the hands out wide, elbows go wide, make little tents with the fingertips, and we're gonna find some movement here. So inhale, roll the heart up, gaze goes up, find space. Exhale, lower everything down to the mat. Moving with the breath. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time, gaze goes up. Exhale, lower everything down to the mat. Last time, inhale, roll up, find space, gaze up. Exhale, lower everything down to the mat. Bring the hands in line with the chest. Press up into your upward facing dog. Find space. Exhale, downward facing dog. First down dog. Taking a deep bend in one knee. Deep bend in the other knee. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Shaking the head out. Yes, no. Just finding some softness, right? These muscles in our neck tend to be pretty tight because we are constantly engaging them. We're carrying around this big melon on our shoulders all day, right? Our head weighs seven, seven pounds, seven to nine pounds. So it's a lot of work, right? It's like carrying around like a kid's bowling ball. <laughs> all right, inhale, sweep the right leg up high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, find space, stack that right hip over the left. And just start to circle at the knee in one direction. Big circles, working into that hip joint. And then switching directions, big circles in the opposite direction. Good. Send the leg back high to the sky. Exhale, step it to the outside of that right hand for your high lizard lunge. Drop the hips, open the heart, find space. Inhale. On the exhale, straighten out the right leg, bow to the inside of the right leg. Release the head and neck. Wide pyramid, right? Inhale, shift it forward, gaze goes up. Exhale, shift it back. Last time, just starting to lengthen out the back of that right leg. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, shift it back. Stay here and breathe. Flex the toes back to the face. Think about drawing the right hip back in space for three. Two, one, bend back into the right knee, lower the left knee to the mat, and then come down to the forearms. Just come into like a lazy lizard lunge. Roll onto the knife's edge of the right foot and just shift side to side. Let the head hang heavy. Allow that right hip to start to open. Right, this is just a morning stretch. It's not like a power flow. So we're just kind of easing into the body, right? Waking things up. Good. And prop yourself up onto that left forearm or come back up onto the left hand if you need more space and press the right thigh away from you. Gazes over the right shoulder. Really pressing that thigh open, feeling this release in the lower back, little twist and opening in that right hip. Our hips tend to store a lot of tension and anxiety. So by creating space, we let go of the, this, these old emotions and we create space for new experiences, right? It's always a good thing, right? You want to have space to receive. Good. Release the right hand back to the inside of the right foot. Spin the left shin parallel to the back of the mat. So like in football, right? When you take a knee and you're like listening to the coach, that's kind of what your, your legs look like right now. You're going to crawl the hands off to the upper left hand corner and just take a down dog upper body. Sit the seat back in space. Maybe shift a little bit side to side to start to feel that stretch. You should feel a nice release in the right inner groin and in the lower back. That right side body. One more inhale. Exhale. Crawl the hands back through center, send the left leg long behind you, and then just step the right foot back to meet the left downward facing dog. Send the left leg high to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip, start to circle it out one direction, just waking up that left hip joint, and then switching directions, big circles, good. Send the left leg back high behind you. Exhale, left foot to the outside of that left hand. 
Come into your high lizard lunge. So dropping the hips, open the heart, find space. And then exhale, straighten out the left leg, bow to the inside of that left leg. Flex the left foot back to the face. Inhale, shift it forward, gaze goes up. Exhale, shift it back, bow, release the head and neck. Last round, inhale forward. Exhale, straighten it out. Stay here and breathe. Think about drawing this left hip back in space, relaxing the head, relaxing the neck, flexing the left toes back to the face. Breathe here for three, two, one. Bend back into the left knee, lower the right. Come down to the forearms. Let the head hang heavy and just sway side to side. You can roll onto the knife's edge of the left foot. Make sure you untuck those right toes and just surrender. Find some softness. Come up onto the right forearm or the right hand if you need more space. And press the left thigh away from you. Gaze is over that left shoulder. Find this release for the lower back. Release for the left hip. Finding a little flex in that left foot. So a little engagement. Good. One more big breath. Exhale. Release the left hand back to the inside of the left foot. Spin the right shin parallel to the back of the mat. Find that knee, right? And then crawl the hands off to the upper right hand corner of your mat. Shift side to side a little bit. Start to work into the stretch. Find the stretch. If you don't feel it, like maybe take a little bend in the left knee. Maybe sit the seat back in space a little bit further. Good. So just feeling that opening in the inner groin. Two more breaths. Inhale, fill up. Exhale. Soften. One more inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, crawl the hands back to center. Send the right leg long. Tuck the right toes under. And just step back to your downward facing dog. Pedaling out one more time here. Shorten your down dog like one footprint. And then reach back with the left hand. Catch the outside edge of the right ankle with the left hand. Start to twist. So pulling the heart underneath that right arm, gazes up underneath the right arm, drawing the right hip back in space, releasing the head and the neck. Switching sides, left hand goes down. Catch the left ankle with the right hand. Pull the heart underneath that left arm, gazes up underneath the left arm. Soften into the neck. Really ground through the left hand, draw that left hip back. Release the right hand down to the mat. Gaze forward between the hands, bend the knees, and then just slide through to your seat. Simple, right? All right. So bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, fold it forward over the feet. Relax the head, relax the neck. Pressing the thighs away from you with the elbows. Good. Inhale, sit back up. Plant the feet on the mat. Hands come behind you. And then place the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Flexing the right foot. Pressing that right knee up and away from you. So find a little lift in the heart center. It's like a figure four. Maybe a little bit deeper than when you're laying on your back. And you can sway a little bit side to side. Good. Make sure the hands are nice and grounded. We're going to press up into a reverse tabletop with this figure, figure four. So press the hips up, lift the hips, drop the head back. Open up that inner groin. Good. Tap the seat down. We're going to lift one more time, OK? Just reset, lift it back up. Get a little bit deeper. Three. Two, one, release that. 
Bring the left shin down to the mat, right shin stacked directly on top of the left for your double pigeon pose. This doesn't have to be deep, okay? So you can stay here, stacking the left ankle on or the right ankle on top of the left knee, and then the right knee on top of the left ankle. So it's like it's called fire log pose in um, yin practice. So you can either stay here, just working on flexing the feet, pressing the right knee down and away from you, or you can crawl the hands out in front of you and just really relax the head and neck, feeling the stretch in the outer right hip. Finding something more to let go of, to soften and release. Letting go of what no longer serves you. So we say that a lot in yoga. And when I talk about that, I tend to think about like the things that aren't in alignment with my calling, with what I want out of this life. Right? So just letting go of anything that might be holding you back. Any toxic relationships, toxic situations, just letting that go. Slowly start to walk the hands back up, unwind the feet, come back to the feet planted on the mat, hands behind you, and then place the left ankle on top of the right knee this time. Come into this figure four, just rock it a little bit side to side, press the left knee away from you, and then sit up nice and tall. Feel the stretch just for a few breaths. Make sure the hands are nice and grounded. We're gonna lift up into that reverse tabletop with the figure four, lift the hips, press the hips up to the sky, drop the head back, tap the seat down, reset, just get a little bit deeper, and then lift back up. Press the hips up and away. Feel the pelvis start to open up for three, two, one, come all the way back down to your seat and then just set up for that double pigeon on the opposite side. So bring the right shin down to the mat, directly stacking the left leg on top of the right, flexing the feet, sit up nice and tall, make sure the sit bones are nice and grounded. So either just stay here working on like pressing that left thigh down, feeling the stretch, flexing the feet, getting everything stacked in, in alignment, or you can crawl the hands out and just drop down to the forearms. If you have something to rest your forehead on, maybe a block, a pillow, maybe rest your forearms on a pillow, whatever is accessible to you in your home, in your living space, utilize that. And just rest. Or you can just use the floor, use your mat. It's all good. There's always an option for everybody in yoga. You can modify, modify, modify. Or if you want to deepen your practice, you take it there. Right, three more breaths here. Last big breath, fill out. Exhale. Slowly start to sit back up, unwind the feet, plant the hands on the mat. Just find those wipers here one more time, windshield wiper side to side. Good, and then just come back to your seat, thanking yourself for showing up for yourself here on your mat today. Maybe taking these last few minutes to do a short meditation, just closing the eyes and sitting quietly with your breath. Or if you have to go, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, Wild Heart Yogis. Namaste.